Hi, hello, welcome to Spell a Day, where we're covering a spell every single day of the year. From the PHB 5v, 362 plus 3 homebrew, plus 1 at the moment, which is what's already uncovered. And today's spell is Fine Traps. Son. Is that a trap? Now what's the- Uh, give me the deagle, give me the de- Three, no, two, no! Second level divination, casting time of one action, range of 120 feet, components verbal somatic, duration instantaneous. Since the presence of any trap within range that is within line of sight, a trap for the purpose of the spell includes anything that would inflict a sudden or unexpected effect you consider harmful or undesirable, which was specifically intended as such by its creator. Thus, the spell would sense an area affected by the alarm spell, a glyph of warding, or mechanical pit trap, but would not reveal a natural weakness in the floor, an unstable ceiling, or a hidden sinkhole. The spell merely reveals that a trap is present. You don't learn the location of each trap, but you do learn the general nature of the danger posed by a trap you sense. You know, reading through it, I was beginning to wonder why I didn't see this picked up. Now I know. Second level divination, one action, range of 120 feet and any traps within that. Not bad. Until you get into the fine print of the spell, specifically malicious intent against the target. It isn't find hazard, so okay, I could find some leeway with that. A lot of my traps are dangerous environments. Two, things in line of sight. What does that consider? What does that mean? Does that mean anything hidden, like a lot of traps? Don't, aren't detected? Also, if it's already visible and within line of sight, you already see the trap. Sure, you might get it's the nature of it. The nature of it might be helpful, but to look into a large room with a bunch of tiles, cast this spell and then know, all right guys, there's poison arrows in there. Which tiles? I have no idea. Thank you, Einstein. We see the holes in the wall in the side of the hallway. <laughs> the most of the time when you'd be casting this spell, you're already suspecting traps. All this is doing is immediately confirming that, which a perception check or investigation would likely do so already. The fact that investigation perception could pick up on those false floors, the hidden traps in the ground, even to the point that in modules, they specifically have perception checks listed on passive and active checks to find some of these hidden traps or faulty floors or pillars that are set to collapse. But the spell is worse than just a check. Maybe not worse, but not worth two second level. Yes, the perception check doesn't give you the nature of it. But I mean, you don't want to find out in any case. <laughs> but you want to avoid, you mostly want to avoid traps. What? Why would you want... I guess knowing in the case of risking it, on how worth is it to just run through, that's a bad idea in general. Also, it doesn't even tell- even the obvious ones, it doesn't tell you the exact location. The question of whether it's hidden or not, if it even reveals that there's hidden stuff, which... The hidden pit trap? That sounds like an environment that's been telling- like, I, I just... Why? Why are there so many stipulations that, that make this less useful? Just let them know where the trap is! Oh, Danger Sense, you now know that it's that plate. I guess that's the reason, because it would just entirely invalidate traps. That were like floor traps, or specific puzzles, or things you needed to pick up. But then why even have this as an option? It's so neutered. Detect Magic can pick up the fact that there's a magical effect on a spell. Glyph of Warding! You might be able to visibly see it if within a high enough perception check. Just like some of the other features. It has to already be in line of sight as well. <sighs> 3 out of 10. Learning the effect of a trap or glyph of warding sure can be useful. You still want to avoid it in any case. Not to mention, actually, wait, the glyph of warding thing. Some glyph of warding is actually set up to have beneficial effects. Would it not tell you that because it's not harmful? Would it not detect that? Ah, man, this... Uh, you see the reasons why. 3 out of 10. It's... The stipulations neuter... neuter it. If I'm wrong... Mention it below, but I do not see the spell being picked up.